welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and on that uh, notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload. In today's video, as you can tell, I'm doing my Mother's Day nails. And guys, today I'm going by a request of a subscriber um, who has asked if I can do real time. So today is going to be a somewhat lengthy video. And as always, I only show my left hand because my right hand is my dominant hand. My left hand is already done. Um, and stating the obvious, I have already prepped, uh, applied my tips and applied my clear layer. So all I can, all I have to do is uh, go in with the application. And um, guys, I'm doing some stamping. I'm doing a lot of stamping actually. And I'm hoping uh, you guys enjoy this video. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch my real time application. Um, and I will pop in when I have something important to say. You gotta keep your heart exposed And you can be sure There's no cause and no cure And if it wants you, uh, oh, it'll come and find you uh. Fall back just a little Don't wanna lead you on Don't wanna push a feeling And make the feeling go You see, I got your number But still, I ain't used to phone, no let it breathe for a minute, baby Next thing I know, you call Damn One thing I know about love You never know when it's coming But you sure know it when it does Yeah One thing I know about love You might get what you ask for So you better be sure it's what you want Oh Lucy, look how pretty. Look how pretty, pretty it is. I know the last time I used it, I used it on a Valentine's Day set. And that was actually my first time using it. And this is my second. I wanted to incorporate it in my Mother's Day nail because I really, I, I love the um, consistency of this acrylic. And I definitely love the color. You, you'll see during the video how it uh, blended very well with the not polished milky white. I'm sorry, the purple white. Uh, that is the acrylic uh, color that I'm using from Not Polish. And obviously I'm using the number 14 Kalinske uh, nail brush by uh, Not Polish. And I, I'm not sure if you're gonna notice any parts of this video, but you will see me um, struggle just a little bit with this brush. Um, and, and I'll tell you why at some point uh, during the video and that's if it comes up. Um, I'm not sure if it showed on camera or not what happened, um, but the some of the hairs on this brush was actually coming off as I was using and it, it happened three times I'm not sure if it'll show on camera because there's sometimes in this video where I do get off uh, screen 
so I apologize uh, for all of that but um, I'm not sure how I feel about the brush I'm excited about it it's a great brush um, I'm just surprised that the hairs were coming out You always take me 
Now I'm not sure how I feel about the brush being oval. I think that I'm going to crimp it and I and the reason I say that is because I had to kind of work the brush on the um, little pad that I had there that soaked uh, everything where I wiped my brush just to kind of flatten the tip so I can clean around my cuticle area or just kind of get a, a, to be able to blend the the product uh, the way I was so used to um, doing it with a crimp brush so I might crimp it I'll probably use the brush one more time while it's oval um, just to see how I continue to feel I mean I was able to do the set but I mean cleaning up around the cu sorry cuticle area um, as I just explained it was I had to flatten the brush in order to do that Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm trying to spread the glow-in-the-dark uh, chunk, chunky glitter as much as possible and I've explained this before the last time I used it for St. Patrick's Day um, <clears throat> these are different kinds of glitters along with a glow-in-the-dark glitter mix together and so what I was trying to do on both my pinky and my ring finger was spread the product enough but knowing which now that I know which uh, glitters were the glow in the dark I tried to spread those and you're gonna see me kind of pick and choose 
those out now to add in certain areas of the nail so that I can at least have some glow in the dark in some uh, the majority parts of the nail <laughs> and you'll see at the end of the video. Flashback to the day that you went away You said to see your family But I ran into you yesterday And you never saw it coming, baby I knew you knew what I thought or Did you leave or not? You said that you meant to but you forgot And I never saw it coming it should have been so easy But I feel incomplete thinking about you Yeah And I would just let you be But I consistently think about you Think about you Okay guys, so here I'm actually putting a very very thin layer of the crystal clear and by the way this is the Nail It Like Lucy crystal clear. I wanted to use this one because I did want the uh, chunky uh, glow in the dark glitter to shine through to really um, show through the clear. And the reason I'm putting a thin layer, and I'm not sure if you noticed that I did that on the pinky, is because like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stamping. And as I did on my um, unboxing from Anyology products, I'm gonna be encapsulating <laughs> these um, stamping images. So I needed kind of a flat surface uh, for the stamping to land on. So that's why I put that in. Um, and this is the area where you're seeing me kind of pick off the glow-in-the-dark chunky parts of the glitter I'm kind of putting my finger under the UV lamp to see what empty areas there are since they glow uh, Immediately so that, that way I can pick out some more and put wherever I'm missing the glow-in-the-dark chunky glitter Si 
Siempre te escondías porque tú no eres mi vea. Y cuando tú te fuiste me mandaste una foto para que no te olvide. Ella no se decide, quiero más de mí, pero así no fue, baby. Recuerdos míos de esa noche, cuando yo te tuve aquí. Solo para mí. Recuerdo cuando te escapabas y tu novia a ti te llamaba. Y tú me lo mamabas Y te lo tuve que repetir Solo pa' mí Yo te comí Bebita, chiquita, bonita lie to you stamping may look easy but it is not easy at all uh, it takes a lot of um, patience to be able to do this that's why when I um, did it for the first time um, I told you I was able to take my time and relax doing it but it takes a few tries before you get it right um, because on my first nail my thumb which is what I'm still doing now um, I was trying to get uh, everything to lay on the nail the way I wanted it and it didn't happen until right now like it started it took me a while it took me a while to get it all right um, and once again I apologize that I'm off camera but eventually you do see the nails and you do see some more stamping on camera um, so just be patient with me until I figure this whole setup up I was not using my viewfinder so um, I was just excited to get started on my uh, Mother's Day nail and kind of forgot to set the viewfinder but you, I will eventually uh, come back in camera and you do get to see uh, most of the stamping.
and I, I wish I would have had my viewfinder so that way you guys could see everything that I was doing. Once I stamped the image on the stamper, I had scotch tape to my right and I would pull off some scotch tape to what they call isolate the image because as you can see on the stamping plates there are a bunch of image next to each other and so when you scrape the polish as you see me doing here and the stamper will pick up the next image so with the scotch tape you can actually remove the things that you don't want to stamp onto your nail and be able to isolate the image and then go ahead and stamp it onto your nail so that's what you see me doing a lot there and once I'm done with the nail and I like the the way it turns out, I go in with the smudge free top coat to protect the image as I continue to stamp. This is the mermaid uh, smudge free top coat that has that green and I, I believe it's green and blue or green and pink I can't remember but look how pretty look how pretty it turns out and I wanted to use it just on the pinky and the ring finger because it has the glitter and I did want all those colors to shine through along with the glow in the dark so I use this smudge free top coat the mermaid one just on these two fingers and I think it turned out so beautiful. I don't know about you guys, um, but as you can see, I'm, I'm done stamping and I'm not gonna lie guys, this is messy. This can be messy, but if you get into it and you decide that this is something you wanna do, I guarantee once you start learning it as you practice, it gets so relaxing. I enjoyed this. I took so long doing my nails because I did not wanna feel rushed and it was my Mother's Day nails and I wanted to take my time and do the stamping and just relax. I felt so stress-free while I was doing my nails. I, I'm happy with the way they turned out. What do, you, what do you guys think? Sound off in the comments. guys so here as per usual I go in with my McCart no wipe matte top coat and this is because these are not gel polishes uh, that I put on the nail and I wanted to protect even the top coats um, as I go in with my encapsulation and this particular top coat has never failed me and I did want something that was shine free in order to encapsulate so obviously you're gonna see me encapsulate in fast motion you've already seen my application with my base and so right now what I'm doing aside from just encapsulating I'm also building my apex giving myself some thickness and protecting all the work I just did guys right here you're gonna notice uh, the hair issue I was talking about if you notice on my white mat where I'm wiping the brush you're gonna see some hairs to the left um, I pulled out hair twice just in encapsulating my uh, left hand and then I don't think that I don't know if you get to see the third time I pull uh, hair out I think you might because uh, it's all in fast motion so <laughs> I'm not sure if you're gonna get to see but I I'm a little concerned because this this was not a cheap brush uh, and I like their products so 
maybe I do need to crimp it and maybe that's the reason why but or because it's brand new and I'm breaking it in I don't I don't know I really don't know So because this is already a lengthy video, um, obviously I, you know, I fast forwarded this part and went in fast motion and I'm obviously going to do uh, the uh, nail designs on my left hand off camera and I'm also going to leave out the filing today because I thought I've already taken enough of your time. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this video and I think I'm going to do a dedicated video on the things that I have learned about stamping. Um, that I will do at a later time as I get myself more educated on the stamping. Um, I am really enjoying it. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying it along with me as you watch me learn this process. But um, I quite enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and always tuning in. You guys are the best supporters ever. Um, I hope that everyone did have a great Mother's Day. And I know this is kind of late um, in, the, in the day. But like I said, I... I record ahead of time and I do multiple recordings so that that way I'm always consistent in my channel but I do hope everyone did have a great Mother's Day and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye guys You want it forever Try to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Kinda love you Wanna build your dreams on, oh, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter And I got me I'm good I'm head over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along From somebody wrong, uh, So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave you so much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it forever Trying to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Chasing a ghost who don't try I'm tired of the shell, but you help yourself to somebody else It's too late Don't really care about all of your mistakes You were out of your league in the first place Not even surprised that you let me down, down, down I gave you too much honestly and you closed the door